I've graduated high school and from now until the time where I go to college is a very long period of time. So I just decided to go to this summer camp. I started to learn how to code an AI and I coded an AI that can rap in three weeks, which is very cool. But in essence, I wanted to talk about how important summer camps are to your college application. That way you guys know if you should attend the summer camp or not. Elite summer camps. So let's talk about elite summer camps first. There's those like YYGS, MIT Mites, you know, the very famous ones that are very, very hard to get into. Specifically on their application sites, they say like getting into this program doesn't mean that you have a better chance at getting into the school itself, which I got waitlisted at YYGS. I got rejected at Yale, so I don't know the correlation between that, but I do think that it will give you an advantage if you happen to get in, but the chances of you getting in are very low. Just look at this number. I don't have it on the top of my head, but it's very low. And why summer camps affect your college apps is because summer camps are a great way to show that other people have accepted you, other people have recognized you, and they've acknowledged you at a sort of benchmark, if that makes sense. If you can get into the program, you have to be a certain level. But a lot of people won't get into these prestigious and competitive camps, so they should have a backup plan. And that backup plan is to attend any summer camp that you know of. But the question we ask today is how you can get the most out of your summer camps. You see, there's a variety of different summer camps online, in person, whatever, in your local area. There's so many summer camps and a lot of them are very low level. And what I mean by that is they don't really challenge you. They just are there to eat your money. That's that's it. The whole point of a summer camp is so you'll be able to gain more knowledge in whatever field you're trying to do. And note that summer camps usually have a lot of group motivation. That's one of the pros of summer camps is that it's better than learning by yourself because you're with a team, you're with a group of people, and that makes you more motivated to do more things. However, this also means that however much effort you put into it, you will get that result out. Meaning if you don't do anything, if you just want to glaze by, you just want to graze the grass, that's not the same. How much effort you put in yourself, that's how much results you will get and everything else will just fall into place. A lot of people don't understand that these camps don't add to your college application. They're important, but they in themselves don't add to your college application. They don't do any, you can list on your college application that you've attended this, this camp, this camp, this camp, but if you don't have anything to show from attending these camps, there is not really a point in attending these camps. For example, the one that I just went to AI camp, they made us do a project that we can post on our GitHub, which GitHub is like apparently the coder's equivalent of LinkedIn. But what you should get out of these camps is like research papers you can publish, new people that you've met that can help you in marketing or can help you in expanding your organization that you founded. Whatever your field is, just think about what professionals will do and you will never go wrong. Just think about what somebody in that career would want to do. Like for example, scientists, they want to have their research published in scientific journals because then it's like better press, whatever. But that is essentially your goal as well because you as a student, you need to try to be a professional. That's the game that colleges want you to play. If you do this, then the schools will definitely accept you. I can guarantee that they will accept you if you become like a professional in that area. Last but not least, I do want to talk about my experiences with AI camp, just because for those of you guys who are CS majors, I want you guys to try to attend this program. And I also want to show that I have other hobbies besides from terrorizing freshies with how hard the college application is. So AI camp was actually pretty interesting because they allowed us to choose our level. In the other camps that I've attended, they did not allow us to do that. <laughs> Like we were stuck with learning the basics in the other camps, but not in AI camp. Like we learned how to do Python in one day. I mean, I have done Python in my past before, but we learned how to do Python in one day, five hours. The next day we started learning about NLTK. It took me four times just to try to say that abbreviation. We essentially learned how natural language processing is done. We learned the basics of pre-processing and all that good stuff. By the fourth day of the first week, I think we've gone through the majority of everything that they need us to go through in terms of Python. So it's an incredibly fast pace. I mean, we do spend like five hours each day in class and actually later we spend more, way more than five hours. <laughs> but we started to settle for an idea. 
right? There were six of us and four of us had different ideas. You can see how that becomes a problem. Eventually, we somehow combined all of the ideas into one and just happened to be our idea. I'm not sure what was going on there, but I also happened to be like the default product manager because the i it wasn't something that we discussed it was just something that happened i'm not sure how it happened but oh well i had like a sort of division of labor between the stuff that we needed to do because i've heard that they've said oh you can have positions inside your group so this person may be a data scientist this person may be a machine learning analyst this person may be a front-end developer back-end developer and we kind of all just lumped together and split like the workload for that because for neural networks you need to have some sort of data set that you need to train it on and so number one we needed to create that data set because there were no data sets available for what we wanted to do number two we need to clean that data from wherever we retrieved it from and once we clean the data then we can run it through the ai and then we can post process meaning we need to clean up the output from that AI because if we don't clean it up, it will look very messy and it will not make any sense. And because what essentially we were doing was we were trying to make an AI rap, we needed to generate the lyrics first. But I do want to point out that that's not all we did because we didn't only make the model, we had to make the front end as well and the back end. I think I worked on HTML the day before the last day of our deadline. I, I learned HTML. It's not very hard, but like... I. Learning a new language a day before because we were behind schedule a little bit. <laughs> um, I mean, we were never really behind. It was just there was a lot of errors because we had a lot of models and APIs. And so when you try to run all of those together, it just times out the website. Anyways, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a huge pain. Here's a sample output if you stuck to this part of the video. Hippopotamus for Christmas. You, you see, I'm just a man and my opinion is this. Just learn to be humble and stand up to people. They want to end with a heart of TH and <laughs> I don't know if it's still playing, but... <laughs> As you can tell, it's, it's great. It's amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. That's our MVP. We're going to leave it there. I mean, this was done in three weeks. We had no prior experience with machine learning in terms of like natural language processing. So this was the first for us. But I brought this up because this project became a GitHub project that we can fork. I'm not sure if that's the correct terminology, but essentially it means that we can build our portfolio on GitHub, which is important for coders. This program is really good in trying to boost your skills in coding and in teamwork, essentially, because like I was working with everyone at least eight hours every day for the se for the second to third week while we were trying to catch up to our deadlines. But yeah, we blew everyone away. We were definitely the best. No questions asked. We're gonna just we're just gonna leave. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a bit of a short video, but I hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the content that will be coming in the fall when I start doing college vlogs. I'm also very anxious for that, but hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't subscribe. Bye.